So this video won't be comparing the sounds of any symbols, really. Like, I don't even care if you hate the sound of all of these. The whole focus is finding those big boys. If we're looking for big mate, we gotta look at the biggest symbol on the kit, which is the ride symbol, and the standard size is 20 inches. If you order a pack of symbols and you don't ask any questions, you're more likely to get a 20 inch ride. So our banana for scale is that amazing peisty prototype ride from the last video because it absolutely stole the show and it's all people talked about. The prototype is excellent, but you know, I want to share an actual classic Peisty symbol, which is this early 80s, 2002, 22 inch ride. It came free with a 1980s kit that I bought, total score. 22 is considered a big ride, and these 2002s are famous for their use in hard rock. It's pretty bright and glassy sounding, like a good Peisty always is. But uh, hear that crash sound? It doesn't crash. It gongs. Gong. It can join the bonk in the category of unpleasant ride cymbal sounds. Alright, we're getting into big boy territory here with this 24 inch ride symbol. We know we're in big boy territory when I have to remove the crash stand so it can be played. John Bonham from Led Zeppelin played a 24 inch ride and 24 is about the biggest I've seen people actually use in projects and bands. This thing is called a Zilco. It's actually a 1970s Zildjian Factory Second. You can actually see where it got messed up during production. It's got this big whoop -dee in it. And you can see that they lathed over it so it happened very early in the process. But instead of chopping it up and remelting it, Zildjian just stuck a different name on it instead. Finished at Zildjian's Canadian plant, which later became Sabian. True story. Zilcos were an amazing way to get an almost professional Zildjian for budget money. But I mean, some of these sound pretty crap. It's hit and miss. And I, th I think this one's pretty good. And it's cool that it's a 24. Okay, we're entering the freakishly big symbols category with this 26 inch Zildjian. Damn, that's a big boy. This is one of my most treasured symbols and a total find. This is known as a transitional stamp Zildjian, dating it as far back as the early 50s or even the late 1940s. Yes, 40s. Entirely handmade. Every hammer blow there is some dude who pounded this thing out. And these really old symbols are weird. Most symbols are thick in the middle and they thin out towards the edge, but this guy's the same thickness all the way through. It makes it strangely floppy. It's so dark and the way it feels on the stick is fantastic. The bell is fantastic and wow, such a deep crash sound. It's almost like it growled at me. I love how the stick sound is high pitched, yet it's got this low ominous hum underneath. They don't make them like this anymore, that's for sure. And one of my all time favorite symbol treasure finds. Well, may have well found a symbol so big that you have to buy a bag made for gongs to take it anywhere. Uh, so that means um, uh, we're all done, eh?
No more symbols to show you, right? Well, I bet you didn't think they could get bigger than this. Get your gong bags out and get ready to stand in awe at the mass that is the 28 inch Bosphorus Black Pearl Ride. <laughs> this is a symbol so big, it's hard to take anywhere, even if it's in a bag. Only my little Honda van is able to get it around safely. Handmade in Turkey, which is the birthplace of Zildjian and modern symbols as we know it. It even has the signature of the dude who made it on it. Really tiny bell, like for any ride, let alone a 28. It's buttery. Oh, it reminds me of my old K thin flat ride. It really does. And this thing is beautiful for jazz. It's complex and just so dark. The bell is so sweet. And it's got this really excellent aggressive crash sound. I mean, that's perfect for a jazz ride for hits and accents. I know there is a 30 inch ride out there. I've personally seen one of those stags and I, I saw it myself in a drum store and I even hit it with a stick and I thought it sounded absolutely horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and man, I even tried to order one several times for this video and it always got refunded saying no stock. I'll, I'll find one. I will find one, but honestly, even the 26 is too damn big, let alone a 28 or a 30. My favorite ride size is still a 22. It's still conventionally big while not being annoying to gig with. And, uh, and to see us out, and here's an important message from Frank. What even is this look, Frank? Is this really how the video is going to end? <laughs>